Today we are doing something a little different. Uh, today I'm going to be ranking the Final Fantasy normal battle themes throughout the series, uh, going from 1 through 16, including uh, 10 2, and including all of the expansions for Final Fantasy 14, so like Stormblood, uh, Heaven's Word, Shadow Ringers, and Endwalker. Um, what's interesting about those is that uh, it will be my first time listening to those in any great detail because I've not played Final Fantasy XIV's uh, expansion packs, any of them, they've only played A Realm Reborn, um, so it should be quite interesting. So without any further ado, we're going to start with uh, Final Fantasy I, where it all started. At a classic, the classic intro. nice right so i final fantasy one, one is a game i've never beaten i've gotten i remember getting like most of the way through playing it on the psp version but i then i just got bored of it final fantasy one wasn't my first final fantasy game to be fair uh, by then i'd already played a bunch more others um and so final fantasy one just was kind of boring to me i guess maybe one day i'll give it a, like a proper proper shot uh Uh, Final Fantasy 1's battle theme is pretty good. Uh, it wasn't, doesn't go hard, but it is a pretty good one. I do enjoy it. Uh, I've always enjoyed many of the uh, rearrangements I've seen over the years, like the Dissidia version and stuff like that, um, have been pretty good. So we're going to start Final Fantasy 1 off at B tier. This is a pretty good one. Moving on from that, we're going to Final Fantasy 2. So this is the pixel remaster version for uh, Final Fantasy 2's battle theme. I've always liked Final Fantasy II's battle theme. Never quite liked the game. I thought the progression system in Final Fantasy II was kind of bonkers. Uh, but, though I did play through most of it, uh, just never finished it. Uh, but yeah, this is a really good one. I really like it. Um, in fact, honestly, I can safely put it ahead of one, but still on beat, beat here. Uh, if I can find it, where is it? There we go. A pretty good one. Next, we're going to look at Final Fantasy III. But this is also, I think, the ones I've gotten from 2 to 6 are all the Pixel Remaster. So I think this is the Pixel Remaster as well. Um, Final Fantasy III isn't a favourite of mine. Uh, and I'm going off the DS version, honestly. Um, I did quite like Final Fantasy III. Uh, I, I understand what it did, and the best thing that came out of Final Fantasy III was uh, the job system and main theme of Final Fantasy 3, which I believe is called the Crystal Tower or something like that. That's a really good, good thing. But um, with Final Fantasy 3's battle theme, this is going on. It's alright, but it could be better. Final Fantasy 4's battle theme. Now, Final Fantasy 4 was my first Final Fantasy game, uh, way back when I was in high school. Um, I remember someone told me about Final Fantasy and I, I had heard of it before because my brother used to play Final Fantasy when I was younger, like when I was like 8 or something, um, he played, he had 7, he had 8, um, so I'd heard of the series. Uh, so I got recommended Final Fantasy 4 by my friend, uh, okay, I'll give it a try, and yeah, I really liked the story, the story was absolutely fantastic, the characters were great, uh, very dramatic and the music was good, especially the, the, boss, uh, the battle theme. Um, which I'm honestly putting ahead of Final Fantasy 2. It doesn't go super hard, but it's a really good battle thing. Like really Moving on to Final Fantasy 5. I don't remember which Final Fantasy 5 was for me, in terms of like, was it the thir third game I played maybe? It might have been the third game. It might have been the second, who knows, but I think it was like the third game. Uh, one of the, it's one of the early games that I played uh, in my Final Fantasy career, so to speak. And uh, I do like this battle theme, it's actually really good. Um, a lot of people rag on Final Fantasy V for being too lighthearted and too comedic. And honestly, I think that's one of its strengths. Um, Final Fantasy V wasn't uh, afraid to, take not, to not take itself seriously. Uh, and it had some dark moments, actually. Uh, people seem to forget that there are a couple of dark moments in that game. Um, but V is going to go firmly after one. Too. Next is Final Fantasy VI. Now, Final Fantasy VI 
is a really good uh, game, straight up. Uh, one could call it a masterpiece. It is my third favourite Final Fantasy game of all time. Uh, fun fact, I'm actually working on a cover of this game, which I'll probably play somewhere in the video. Uh, but yeah, I'm working on a cover of this one. Um, it's just taken a while because I have a lot of things to do, man. Uh, but yeah, no, Final Fantasy VI's battle theme actually goes hard. <laughs> it does. So for that, it's going on A tier. Now for Final Fantasy VII. Fun fact, I have never played Final Fantasy VII. But hear me out. Uh, years ago, like maybe a year or so before Final Fantasy Remake came out, I'd watched my uh, girlfriend at the time uh, play through it. So even though, and I played a little bit of it as well, uh, when she couldn't get through some parts like some mini games or dungeons and stuff like that, I would take over. But other than that, she pretty much played the whole game herself, and I just watched most of it at least. I didn't wasn't around for all of it. Um, so I don't really have that much of a nostalgic connection to Final Fantasy VII. Saying that, um, this is a pretty good battle theme. However, I feel like the only part of this, this track that I like is the beginning. This bit. Mm, beautiful. Uh, and uh, I've done, I think I've done two covers of the song. I've, done, I've got a V1 and a V2 version. Uh, the V2 version is mostly based on the piano version of Those Who Fight. Um, but yeah, no, I've got two covers, which I'll link in the description below as well. Uh, but Seven is a pretty good one. But I do like it less than Five's battle theme. Uh, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, moving on to eight. Eight is my second favorite Final Fantasy game of all time. Um, might be controversial, but um, screw all the eight haters. I like eight. It's really good. I like. I, I, so eight was one of the ones that one of the Final Fantasies that I watched my older brother play when I was a kid. Um, I think 8 was the first game, I think 8 was the first game I knew about uh, when I was younger. I think it was the latest one that was out actually at the time, I don't think 9 was out yet. Uh, but Gordon, uh, but my older brother never finished the game. Uh, I actually specifically remember what fight he was stuck at. It was the Adel boss fight. Uh, he never got past it. Um, and then once I eventually got around to playing the game, uh, years later, I managed to beat that boss. And I was like, hey, older bro, I beat that boss that you were stuck on on that one game. And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And then I was like, well, okay, well. But uh, Final Fantasy VIII is going to go firmly above two. It's a pretty good one. Doesn't go super hard, but I do like it. It's really good. I'm also surprised I haven't made a cover of this song. But either way, uh, we're going to move on to Final Fantasy IX. I haven't finished Final Fantasy IX, but I am very close. I have been on the Final Dungeon for about three years. I just haven't... I got to the Final Dungeon, I put it down, and just haven't gone back. I should really pick up the game and just finish the game. Straight. Uh, Final Fantasy IX is a game that's really good, and it... Once I finish it, may end up being replacing Final Fantasy VI as top for me. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where I would place this. It's a really good track. And I reckon... I do like it more than ones. I do like it more than sevens. I think, that, I think that's where it goes. I like it more than sevens, but not more than fives. I still think fives is really good. Right, next is a Final Fantasy X. Now, Final Fantasy X is my favorite Final Fantasy game of all time. Having said that, I've always felt that the battle theme always felt a little bit out of place with the rest of with most of the soundtrack. Um, like, I look at the battle theme, which is playing now, and the boss theme of Final Fantasy X, and I don't, they're just, I don't know, something about them, it just, it feels like they belong in two different games. Um, I think Nobuo did the battle theme, and then Junior Nanako did, I 
don't know if I'm getting the name right. Did the boss thing. Um, it's a good track, and I've actually made a cover of this song. I did it recently. Um, links in the description. Uh, where would I put ten? On its own, ten is a good song. But do I like it more than ones? Yes. Do I like it more than sevens? Yes. Do I like it more than nines? I think I do like it more than fives. There we go. We put it there. That's where it stops. I think that's what I'm asking myself. Do I like it more than this one? Do I like it more than that one? And then do I like it more than this one? No, then it stays there. Uh, next, uh, we're going to go for 10 2. Now, I don't care what anyone thinks. I think 10 2 is a great game. I like 10 2. Uh, I don't remember if I played 10 2 right after 10. I think I might have. Um, and that's far, that's far and away from my favorite game. Uh, but 10 2's battle theme actually kind of fucking slaps, I'm not gonna lie. It kind of goes hard. Now, it's simple, there's nothing going on really musically, properly. Um, it, it's kind of repetitive, but I think there's something really good in that, in that simplicity. It's something I would listen to outside of a video game uh, context. It's really good. Uh, so yeah, for that it's going on A tier, um, be a surprise to many. Right, next is Final Fantasy XI. Now I never played Final Fantasy XI, it was a uh, MMO and I wasn't into MMOs way back when and I never really had a PC capable of playing games as it is um, and uh, my PlayStation 2 didn't have netplay or wasn't connected to the internet with my PS2. So went over went over my head, skipped past me, as I'm sure it did for most people too. Uh, I, I can only think of like one person I know personally that's played 11, um, like proper as well. Um, this is a good battle theme, I do like it. Where is 11? Uh, I'm gonna put it over nine actually. Yeah, I do like it actually, better than nines. It's a pretty good one. Next is Final Fantasy 12. Now, Final Fantasy XII doesn't have a normal battle theme, so to speak. Um, so this is the closest one I could think of that's mostly played in, like, mandatory battles that aren't boss fights. Uh, so this is Flash of Steel from Final Fantasy XII. Um, Hitoshi Sakimoto has a really, really, really good style and it's really recognisable as well. Um, I can I can pinpoint a Hitoshi Sakimoto song from, from a mile away. Um, having said that, um, this is okay. Uh, I know that Sakimoto can do some bangers. Unfortunately, this isn't one of them. Uh, so I'm going to put this here because I do like it better than threes. So C tier, it's all right, but could be better. Um, 12 is a weird game because it's one of those games that I decided I was never going to play again. And I still haven't played again. I played it way back when it came, uh, way back in 2006 when it first came out. Um, didn't really understand the story and I got to the credits and I was like, wait, I hate you playing that. Uh, and then I watched a movie version of the game twice over and I was like, yo, the story actually kind of slaps. Um, too bad that I don't like playing the game. <laughs> Final Fantasy 13. Uh, yeah. I'm sure in the year of our Lord 2024 that we're all in agreement that Final Fantasy 13 is a great game. Like, we all like 13 now, we've stopped, we've stopped hating 13 now, we're no longer haters, I think we've all collectively agreed that 13 was never that bad. <laughs> um, 13 has some fantastic music, um, and Blinded by Light is definitely one of them. So much so, that easily, 13 is going to go right to the top of the list uh, at A tier, this track goes pretty hard. Um, this is really good. I like how they incorporated Lightning's theme into this track. Um, and then, yeah, like I like the beginning of the song as well. Dun, bum, 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 bum. Really good. We've also done an arrangement of this track as well. The link's in the description as well. Next is Final Fantasy XIV. Um, so there is one tag here for 1.0, but I forgot about 1.0. Uh, <laughs> and I don't know what that sounds like. So we're skipping over to 2.0, um, A Realm Reborn. Uh, and I don't know which version of the battle theme this is. Uh, I don't know if this is Gridania or not, but this is The Land Breathes. 
And uh, straight away, uh, this is the only battle theme from Final Fantasy XIV that I'm familiar with uh, because I, I've not got past A Realm Reborn. I've not reached Heaven's Word. I'm very close, but I've not reached Heaven's Word yet. Uh, so, A Realm Reborn is going to go. It's a pretty good one. Do I like it more than one? Yes. Do I like it more than seven? Yes. I like it more than nine. I like it more than 11. I like it more than five and it stays there. It's a pretty good one. Next is uh, some music that I've never heard before now because uh, we're getting into expansion territory. So uh, this will be the first time listening to pretty much all of these tracks from 14. So this should be the battle theme from uh, Heavenswood and it's called Melt. Okay. This feels like the beginning to a boss fight or a final boss fight. It doesn't sound like something I would hear multiple times as a normal battle theme. Very different from uh, Realm Reborn. I'm not vibing, unfortunately. Oh, I'm super not vibing. Oh my god. I'm not vibing. I feel- okay, mmm. I feel like this might be a context thing. But since I'm giving like, for, for brevity, for brevity for the video, I'm giving most of them an out a minute. Um... Yeah, that's going to D. It's kind of forgettable. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what to say. I did a minute in and there wasn't really any clear melody that I could call back to. And I just, yeah, it didn't really hit for me, unfortunately. I have nothing else to say about it. Uh, sorry. Uh, moving on to, I guess, Stormblood. So this is called Looping in the Deepest Fringe. And already this is better. I do like the metering too rhythm oh yeah this is good all right that's kind of cool but now it's slowed down now so the beginning of the battle theme was really good but now it's sort of slowed down Still, I do like it. Uh, do I like it more than ones? Yes. I like it more than sevens. I like it more than nines, and I like it more than elevens, and that's where that ends. But you can see there's a lot of Bs, a lot of pretty good ones. Uh, nothing's hit peak music yet for me. Uh, but no, looping, looping in the deepest fringe is pretty good. I do like it. Uh, now we go on to Shadowbringers, I believe. This is called Reencounter. This doesn't sound like what I would expect a battle theme to be. Oh. Low key not vibing, but let it cook. Let it cook. Let it cook. Okay. Sounds more boss theme than battle theme. All right. I'm feeling that this is going to be a, a top C. It's all right, but could be better. Yeah, I'm confident in that choice. Don't know. Not really vibing with it so much. It did pick up a bit, but not so much for me to put it in B tier. Uh, yeah, not my favorite, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Uh, now for, uh, I believe, Endwalker. This is called Unbowed. Ooh. Now this is better.
物。This is hitting. Does it go hard though? Who knows? Are those harps or pizzicatos I'm hearing? I'm not entirely sure. My headphones are kind of broken uh, as of yesterday. Uh, I let put my headphones in my backpack and also put a can of monster in my backpack. You couldn't guess what happened. Um, so I'm not entirely sure. But I do like this. More than eight. Yeah. I don't think it goes hard. Actually, does it? Oh, wait, no, I think it does. Shit, it does, yeah. Ooh, does it? Yeah, firmly there. That actually goes hard. I do like this. I, ooh, I can't wait to get to Endwalker. It will take me forever. But that sounds great. That sounds fantastic. Uh... Wow, okay, yeah. Next is uh, 15. So, 15 has about three or four normal, ba normal battle themes uh, based on what region the character's in, but I've decided to go with the one that best represents Final Fantasy. 15, uh, Stand Your Ground. And uh, guys, not gonna lie, I've always liked this battle theme. Um, and I'm totally not biased because it was composed by Yokushi Mamura, but. Um, Peak music. A plus 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 plus. S plus 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 plus. S S S S R rank. Hell yeah. This is really good. I do like this. Stand your ground. It's absolutely fantastic. So that, yeah. Top awards. Top awards. Right. Now, last but not least, we have Final Fantasy 16. 16 bells. Now, I'm told that Final Fantasy 16's battle theme sounds, the beginning of it sounds a lot like 8, and I hear it. Um, mostly because of the rhythm and the fact that it's in 5x4. Um, it does switch over to 6x4 at some points, but it's mostly 5x4. Um, and I believe the entirety of uh, Don't Be Afraid from Final Fantasy 8 is in 5x4 time signature as well. Um, this is pretty good. It's a very long battle theme. I think it goes on for about two minutes. Um, so I'm going to skip around um, because one of my th problems with 16's battle theme is that it does take a while to get to like the meat of it. it takes about 52 seconds until something changes within the music. Uh, and by before then, if you're really good at the game, by before then you you won't be able to hear it because you'll, you will have defeated all the enemies. Um, now, 16 Bells is a really good, all, actually, in fact, all the battle themes in uh, Final Fantasy 16 are really good, and I'm actually going to be making a little bit of an analysis, analysis video on 16's music uh, at some point in the future, because there's a couple of things to talk about, actually, so look forward to that at some point, too. Um, but yeah, 16 um, can firmly... go here there are some that's better um, so looking at that you can see <laughs> that at the bottom of the pile is uh, heaven's birds battle theme I don't know what's going on there it might sound better in context uh, but unfortunately uh, not for me and at the very top we've got Final Fantasy 15 stand your ground uh, you can see a lot of the uh, music is standing in the middle, mid tier. B is a pretty good one. They're all pretty good. Fours, pretty much the best out of that tier. With one being the least great. Um, C, you know, Shadowbringers. Uh, what's it? What was it called? Reencounter could stand to be a lot better. Flash of Steel, um, not Sakimoto's best work. And three is just kind of meh. Uh, but then four tracks that go really hard. It's Thirteen's battle theme, Blinded by Light, followed by uh, uh, what's it called? Unbowed for Endwalker, then 6's battle theme, and then 10-2's uh, battle theme, which is, I know, gonna be a crazy pick for some, uh, but, you know, I really do like it, so. Uh, don't come for me, remember, this is all my opinion. Uh, the rest of the bottom here is like the side games, 13-2 uh, and Lightning Returns don't have um, 
standard battle theme, so it was hard to pick. After Years, I think, is the same for four um, in terms of music for the most part. Revenant Wings, who cares? And Dawn Trail is not out yet. So uh, I'm going to be making more videos like this in the future as well. I'm going to be making. Um, uh, do the same thing for I'm gonna be doing the same thing for boss themes in Final Fantasy, uh, victory themes for Final Fantasy, which should be interesting, and then hop over to some series such as maybe the Zen Xenoblade series, uh, Star Ocean Tales of, and look at all of those battle themes and rank them just like this. Um, but yeah, look forward for those in the future, along with any other music that I make and stuff like that. But for now, uh, leave a like and comment if you liked, and subscribe for more. Take care, stay safe, and stay awesome.